All right, third grade. Now we have just learned about sunsets, so we are going to make our own sunset. Of course, your name and class code is already on the back of your paper. So what we are going to do is we are going to start with a really big paintbrush, just water. All you want is just the water, and you are just going to get your paper a little bit wet. All over. This is gonna help your colors really kind of run into each other and kind of blend, in, blend into each other like a real sunset. So, we're gonna be using temper cakes today which are really similar to watercolors. They're just a lot bigger. So we need to put a little puddle in there first and stir it around to mix that water in with that paint. Then, for my sunset, I think I'm gonna do yellow at the bottom of my paper. I think I'm gonna have it go a little bit higher on this side. Then I'm gonna get my orange. Make sure to mix, mix, mix. And I'm gonna let my orange kind of blend in with my yellow. And this is again why we get our paper wet first. Because it'll just make it look a little more softer, kind of like a real sunset. Now I'm gonna do red. I'm of course getting my, putting a little puddle in there first and mixing it up. Kind of letting my red kind of go a little high. I like that. Let it go kind of high on my paper. Then I think I'm gonna get a little blue. And I don't want my blue to be super, super blue. So I'm not gonna mix it too much with my water. Remember, if you want your colors to be light, don't mix them too much. If you want them to be super, super bright like these are, then mix them, mix them, mix them in with that water to really blend that paint. So you can see how light this blue is because I didn't really mix it very much. It's not a super, super, super bright blue. Kind of like that. Then I'm going to get some purple. And I'm gonna put that at the very top of my paper. I think I want a little more blue in that purple. I want it to be kind of more like a dark purple. Ooh, it's a little bit too dark. Ooh, there we go, I like that. So there you can see my colors are really kind of blending into each other and making a really, really cool sunset. Just make sure every time you go to get a new color, you really, really, really need to wash off your brush and test it on your paper towel to make sure it's clean. That's super important. All right, for our next step of this project, we talked about our different cityscapes. So today, we are going to draw some different cityscapes to put on top of our sunsets. So I'm going to start by drawing just some kind of cool shapes. So I think maybe I'll start with a really tall building. So I'll make it super, super, super tall. And I think I want to have a little triangle on top. And I think I'm going to make a little flag. Then you can just kind of play with different lines and shapes. You're doing this all with a white crayon. I hope you could see this on the video, but you're doing this all with a white crayon. I'm gonna add myself some windows. Put a little door down here, some more windows. I think maybe now I want to do maybe a little bit shorter of a building. Maybe I'll do one only about that tall. And maybe I want to put kind of some weird shapes up here. It's 
So you can kind of come up with your own building or you can try to make a building that you've seen before. It's kind of up to you what kind of buildings you're going to make. I think now maybe I'll draw a clock tower, but I think I'm gonna make kind of a weird clock tower. I think I'm gonna make it kind of be a diamond shape like that and then have it kind of be rounded down at the bottom and then I'll make my clock in here. And maybe some weird circle shape up there. I can make some other kind of goofy shapes. Maybe this one I want to be tall. Make it go straight, but then I think I want it to be like bumpy on the side. You can come up with your own kind of buildings, guys. Definitely. I even had some students last year do um, a Ferris wheel. That was super cool. So here's my buildings today. I also have some other ones that I've done before. So this is kind of that same kind of funky clock tower that I've done. I have some other kind of tall buildings, short buildings. This one's kind of a weird tall building. This one has some different kind of curved tops on it. Here's another clock tower. This one's kind of cool because I kind of did two buildings layering behind each other. So this one's in front and then I have this tall one going behind it. I did the same thing over here. I have kind of just two really tall buildings right in front of each other. This one's kind of cool with its curved top. This one's stacked on top of each other. This one almost looks like it could be a church or something. This big one with these really tall doorways and arched tops long skinny building but you can see that I have definitely left space in between you want to do that because when we cut these out and glue them down you want to make sure that there's enough space in between and behind to see your beautiful beautiful sunset all right for the last step of this project you're going to grab your scissors and start cutting out your shapes If you have a little tiny flag like this, that's okay, but you don't want to cut it so all that's holding onto it is this little, little tiny line. So I like to just leave a little more black paper around that so there's a little bit more holding it together. I'll show you here in just a second once I've cut it out. You want to leave your white lines so cut beside them, don't cut on them because you want to leave the white lines on there. And you can see I left just a little bit extra black paper around that line so it wasn't super, super skinny. And I'm gonna put that over there while I cut out the rest of these. All right, last step for our project is we're gonna glue these down. You only need a little bit of glue, just a skinny, skinny line going along the outside edges. Just a small amount of glue. Make sure to line it up with the bottom of your paper. I like to leave a little bit of space on the edge and then when I do my next one, I'll leave a little bit of space in between my two buildings so we can see our sunset coming through. So I'm going to leave just a tiny bit of space just like that. All 
All right, third grade, and there you have it, your beautiful Sunset City scape.